Hi, I'm Julie Vandermeulen. Um, so I built HMCS Haida, a 10-foot long tribal class destroyer. Uh, so this model, um, I guess the whole thing started back in 2008. Um, I, this is actually a museum ship in my hometown, and I got a job there for the summer. So way back then I really wanted to build this model. Um, it was completely unfeasible in terms of parts and size and I didn't know how to do stuff so well. So I built a whole series of ships until I finally had enough parts and I knew enough how to build ships to get to doing this large one. Okay. Very nice. You want to point out a few of the details on the ship, you know, the main sections and things for us? Yeah, so um, one of the cool details is the torpedo tubes. Um, it all swings out. These are roughly accurate to scale. It's all minifig scale. And then I have the, uh, the boffin guns um, and the various other weaponry. Uh, the, the funnels are really neat. They're, um, it was a case of finding exactly the right slope to, to get that angle. Um, yeah, they're, it's really, really, really complicated. I got really lucky on a lugable quarter getting the right parts a few years earlier. <laughs> yeah, um, and there's the little tiny boat here, the motor cutter. Um, that was probably about a two hour build. I just roughly, quick, quickly roughed it out. Um, I've done this, this uh, slope with tiles for the bow a lot of times now. So it was just second nature almost to do that. Um, the most difficult part to build is the mast here because it is open lattice. I don't get to hide anything like I do with everything else. Uh, and there's no, there's no good angles either. It's all weird, not 90 degrees, which is, makes it really difficult. Yeah. And so all the details here, like you can see in the bridge, is all different parts. Those are all as accurate as possible to the real thing. Uh, so there would be a compass and the, <laughs> the thing they use to tell the engine room what the speed is. Um, yeah, so it, it's all extremely detailed because I have access to the real ship, so I took pictures of everything. Um, and yeah, it's designed for minifigs, although I haven't added very many. Um, so in terms of, it's really big, so how, people will ask, how do you transport it? Well, it comes in sections, so here's one oh. section, and you see the inside is all made of Duplo. Yeah. Get some good structure going with the Duplo. Oh, yeah. yeah, it, it saves me a lot of parts and it makes it much more rigid. Um, and then I have, the only non-LEGO parts in here are the LEDs inside. Okay. Some nice lighting going on in there then. When you start on a build of this size, you know, this is a pretty massive building, 10 feet you said, uh, where do you start as far as like planning? Do you like sketch it out or what do you do for that stage? So first thing is I found a lot of drawings of th this class of ship online. Unfortunately, there is two different types. One's 10 feet shorter, so I didn't realize that until I had already <laughs> found these drawings and then had to restart. Um, but yeah, so I got lots of pictures. I visited the ship. Um, and then once I got my drawings, I s first start with rough out the bow and the stern in brick and then design the rest of the hull in LED. Um, because it's really, really fragile to try and just do this in parts. So then once I've got the LED, LED of just the hull, I put that together, fill in the interior structure, do the top side, and then add all the details on top. No other drawing or other planning than that. Very nice. And I noticed here that you are uh, won the award for, nominated at least, for Best Mega Creation. So congratulations on that. Thank you. Very cool. And thanks for taking us through the build. Appreciate it.